Reddick signs with 2311 Racing for 2024. Spot Freddy. on, spot off. Actually, Brett. This could be its own show. I agree. <laughs> I have a few questions. Go for it. This is uh It might be one day. <laughs> this is it might be its own show. I, I I truly, when this came out, I was speechless. I looked at this and I was like, man, we told you guys two weeks ago that RCR had screwed up by not announcing an extension to a contract, by only announcing that they had picked up his option for one season. We told you guys they screwed up. So spot off for RCR, spot off for whoever wrote that contract, spot off for whoever didn't make this a more long-term deal. Freddie talked to Tyler. I talked to Tyler. It's very obvious that he wanted in the beginning of the season to have a long-term deal with RCR. For whatever reason, that didn't come to fruition. So spot off for RCR. I don't know how you put yourself as a company in this position. Um, I guess my question marks to, to Tyler Reddick, first of all, spot on to him. Congratulations. I mean, you're going to a team that yesterday had a lot of success, led some laps, finished third. I don't know where Kurt ended up because Tenth. he was on a different strategy and had to end up hitting there at the end. But um, obviously fast cars. But you're, if, you're, if you're looking at the sport as a whole, right, you got super teams is what I like to call them. And the super teams are Hendrick, Penske, Stuart Haas, Joe Gibbs Racing, and Richard Childress Racing. Those are the five teams that feed the other teams in the sport. We'll call those affiliates, okay? So he is essentially leaving – one of the super teams and going to an affiliate of Joe Gibbs Racing. So what does that say about Richard Childress Racing? To me, it says a lot. When you look at the Chevrolet stats, Chevrolet since 2014, okay, Harvick was at RCR in 2013. He left. Since he left in 2014, RCR has won five races. That's not a lot. Chevrolet in that same span of time has won 93 races. So clearly it's not a Chevrolet problem. But you're averaging just over half a win a year right now. And you just lost a generational superstar. This guy is one of the best drivers in the series right now. I mean, you look at – you can correct me if I'm wrong because obviously you did a little more deep dive on this. The first year Kevin left RCR, did he not go – did he win a championship One that championship year? championship is two races. Five races and a championship that year. Correct. <laughs> I mean, it's conceivable Tyler could do the same thing. And RCR went winless when he left for three years. Yeah. I mean, you uh, first of all, welcome uh, Tyler to the newest. Uh, he's the newest member of the Denny Hammond fan club. Um, he Glad will, to be here. He will, he, he, he'll be around for a while, it sounds like. Um, but, yeah, we talked about it on here last week. And, and, and Denny proved our point by we were saying – everybody's going to be after this guy. And the fact that Denny went ahead and locked him up 18, 19 months before he could ever make a lap in Denny's cars goes to show you how much in demand he was. Denny was in a, in a, in a Twitter space deal, uh, racing spaces, and, and said that, you know, there was already multiple suitors out there for Tyler. There was people out there with offers into Tyler already, and he made a comment that he, they weren't even the highest bidder for Tyler at that point. But, you know, it just goes to show you also that, you know, obviously everybody wants Tyler, but 2311 is obviously an attractive place to come race at. Um, we got a lot going on, a lot of good stuff. Like Brett said, the cars have been fast. Um, you look real good, Freddie. So I, I know I know he's look good. Um, speaking of that, I am in a contract here, Danny, so whenever you want to get that locked up, I'll be great. Um, but, Let's bring him on the show, and we'll just we, do an announcement just, just like he did last week with Tyler. <laughs> We can just sign my contract right here. On yeah. the show. So, so on that note, actually, Look, I, it's Air Tyler. <laughs> I have two questions. One, you know, announcing it this early, what does that mean? A for RCR. I mean, Emotional damage. Awkward. No, but but I'd imagine they're trying to find sponsorships for next year, and knowing that Tyler is Look, leaving. In, in my opinion. And I don't know where this is going. This is not in kind of I – mean, obviously, I've talked to Tyler. I talked to Tyler a lot. Um, if RCR was to kick Tyler out of that car, they'd be insane because their only chance right now to compete for a championship is Tyler Reddick. And, and it shows every week. I mean, Austin has some decent runs, but consistency-wise, Tyler is much, much faster. The eight car is much, much better than the three on a weekly basis. Um but, you know, it, it, I, obviously you're not going to give him proprietary secrets. You know, there's 
you know, there's meetings that he's going to be withheld. I don't, I don't know what secrets really matter. Yeah, I mean, there's not like there's a, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can tweak on these things a little bit to help. But I mean, it doesn't I don't know. There's meetings he won't be involved with. But I mean, you see some effects of it now. I don't think you're going to see Tyler in that 48 Xfinity car for a little while. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I, I think he would like to still drive it, but I don't know if that's going to work out. Um, that's no, kind of a out. RCR affiliate. Um, you know, it's just little random stuff. And I mean, let me let me ask you a question. Um, well, if if you're Richard Childress, who are you mad at? If you're Richard Childress, yeah, like what? who the f- are you mad at? <laughs> the timing could not be any worse. That's for the this. worst. That was maybe the worst press release I've ever seen in my life. No, 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 no. The ball oh, bag. Oh, the, the ball, ball bag. bag. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. The second worst press release I've ever seen in my life. I mean, that sounded like a whiny <laughs> little, I don't know. The one. same thing has already happened to RCR. Did they not learn anything from it? Kevin Harvick in 2012 announced he would not be back at RCR after 2013. He put himself out there in a lame duck situation for a year. Now, in that same situation, he run won four races and finished fourth in the championship, I believe. So, Clearly, that was successful for Kevin and for RCR. They kept everything going, right? I mean, the, the team's still around. But this is uh, – this is I've never seen it come out this early. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think when the whole Kurt Busch thing went down um, with Roush and Penske, something like this happened back in the day too. But, like, we've seen lame duck drivers, you know, and have, kept to, running for have to team, ride right? out a year. You know yeah. what I mean? But, but I think that – it's just the, the timing of this couldn't have been more weird. I'm not saying it's did, not bad, was but, it, was but it literally this, this guy, hey, we've picked up Tyler Reddick's extension, um, option year. He's coming back next year. Tyler Reddick goes and wins a race the very next week. Tyler Reddick's going to Denny Hamlin 23-11, and he's out after the 2023 season. Like the whole – it's just weird. But, but to your point, if I'm Richard Childress and I've just lost one of the top talents in the sport, TJ Majors, who am I going to put in there next year if I tell him to go get f- I'm going to get John Hunter or I'm going to get Zane Smith. And you think sponsors are going to ex- get excited about either one of those two guys? Don't know the answer to that. In- you think either one of those two guys are going to get in that car and run better than Tyler Reddick? I did not say that. Do you think they're going to get in that car and win more races than Tyler Reddick? Did not say that either. You're screwing yourself. You better – you, you, you f- this up. Somebody at RCR royally screwed this up. So now you have to make the best out of it. I, I personally don't think you sleep on Austin Hill the following year. I don't think he's ready right now. But, again, you've got a year to get your plan together, and Austin's got a little money with him, right? Because now you got to have money and you got to have a driver. Yeah. I'm going to do that thing where I'm not saying you're wrong, but if you look at it from a team's perspective, I think there are a lot of factors that go into – selecting a driver, picking up an option year. They might not have had a choice. They might not have had enough sponsorship. There's a lot of other factors where they might not have screwed up. It's just the, the, the way things are. The, point, the point we were making was Tyler wanted to be there, and then they didn't make it happen. I it, also is think what, is what we heard. But then I had a, I had a conversation yesterday with a high-profile media person who is one Damn, of our favorite a, people to talk about on the show. You had a busy day. I did. I actually went to garage. And we started talking about scenarios. And you're like, man, how if you're RCR, your most valuable player in this entire organization, I forget about – I'm talking about engineers, crew chiefs, even owners. Your most valuable player is Tyler Reddick. You didn't sign him up. All right, well, then when you didn't sign him up and he came to you and said, I want to be signed up, but you didn't do it, right? If you're Tyler Reddick, you have to say, well, if they don't want to sign me up, then why would I want to sign up? Right? Then you start asking yourself, what's going on? Then I look at Denny Hamlin Motorsports. This is how the conversation went. Who's going to be running 2311 in five years? Freddie. Yeah, it's me. It's <laughs> Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to be running RCR in five years? Mike Dillon. Think so? I mean, I, I mean he knows. Mike Dillon, Andy Petrie. I mean, yeah. you've got a list of guys, but it's not guaranteed to be Richard Childress. I can tell you that much. Once you, once you didn't sign him up, Casey, I, I, I get you playing devil's advocate. Once you don't sign him up and he starts questioning, well, why would I want to be here long term if they're not going to sign me up here long term? And then he had the ability contractually to go out and have conversations and do what he did. Somebody at RCR didn't learn, learn a damn thing 10 years ago with the whole Kevin Harvey thing. 
We've got exciting news. OfferPad wants to buy your home. Go to OfferPad.com right now and tell them all about it. You'll receive a cash offer within 24 hours.